Think I'll ever go back to Apex? No, because it genuinely makes me unhappy. I could go into it further than that about why I think it's like kind of sh but uh, yeah, it just makes me unhappy to play. And I don't, I don't really want to play a game that makes me unhappy. And I think that it will result in like a less interesting stream. Like literally, I played Apex the other day. I tried it one more time to try the new legend, and like it was just basically two hours of me complaining. I actually, I talked to a coworker. She was like, "Oh, you play video games?" I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Oh, you played Splitgate?" I was like, "Oh yeah, I have. It's pretty cool." She's like, "Yeah, it's pretty sick." She's like, "Uh, do you play Apex?" I was like, oh, "I used to." She's like same i was like yeah it's just not fun it's like so sweaty she's like right it's so sweaty she's like i rage uninstall it i was like dang me too <laughs> i'm just gonna be playing stuff i want to enjoy man like th these are so fun and bring me so much happiness i'm like dude i'm laughing all the time bro i just want to laugh that's like my number one goal in life is to laugh i love laughing laughing's good i want other people to laugh too laughing is sick but yeah, so I'm gonna be playing these. I'm gonna be playing Guilty Gear because Guilty Gear is a competitive game that like so far has just been like so exciting and thrilling and like engaging. Like I've gotten just absolutely dunked on in Guilty Gear and it's still been fun. It's still been fun because it's like a learning experience. There's like so much you can learn about fighting games. Um, Halo Infinite Battlefield. I have no interest in Battlefield, but Halo Infinite, I will certainly be playing. There is actually, there's, there is a possibility that if I go back to playing FPS games, I will only play like Halo and Splitgate and stuff like that. Like, I think I might give up on like playing competitively for a number of reasons. Number one, it's stressful. Number two, I don't like it. <laughs> and I've resigned that I'm just not gonna ever be like where I wanna be, you know? And then third, and the most important, uh, who gives a fuck about rank in competitive games? You know what? I realized that. I was like, who gives a f I was like, I, of all the streamers and content creators I watch, I don't watch anyone because they're good at their game. I watch them because they're funny and entertaining. And it's like, well, I want to be funny and entertaining. I, I don't really, I don't really care anymore. I'm still going to do the pen FPS thing. I think it's super cool. I think people enjoy that. I think it's fun to like pop off and stuff like that, but... Yeah, I, I gotta take a break. <clears throat> Plus for me, for me specifically, the pen FES thing has kind of lost its charm because it's like, like I said, all the time, I don't even, I don't even really recognize that I'm playing with a pen. It doesn't feel like a detriment to me. So like, it, it, I don't get hype over it. Not worth the hassle of being the pen player and the pen troubleshooter. Oh, uh, I don't know if I necessarily agree. I don't know if I look at it that way. The only thing that's annoying about troubleshooting people's pen issues for pen FES is that if you're gonna go through the trouble of like using a drawing tablet for an FPS, I would expect you to have a little initiative. Some people just don't have any initiative at all. Like they literally want me to like remote into their PC, like while they're screen sharing or whatever, and just like set it up for them. And it's like, what? If you have no drive to set up the driver, then you're not gonna have drive to practice and improve on an input method that is completely inferior to mice. The people that I've heard that have stuck with pen and really enjoy it, I've I never heard of them before they said that they've been playing on pen. Like they'll just show up in my stream like, hey I've been playing on pen, it's sick. Because like those are the people that like have the drive to actually go out and like do it. Um yeah, I think being the forerunner is hella sick. I'm very proud to be the forerunner. Um But I, I don't think I can be the forerunner and be the best. And that's what I wanted to do, and I think it's unrealistic. Of me to expect that to be the forerunner and to be the best is just is too much you know i think i put a lot of strain on myself for a long time i was really 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 trying to like rank up and down like really bad like really really bad yeah it's just not for me i don't think it's for me anymore at least not right now i'm sure like there's always that you know that chance that like in two months i completely changed my mind and i'm back to playing fps games and stuff like that and I'm super into it, and I'm back to making 10 FPS videos and shit like that, but, uh... Shit sounds hella lame right now. That's all I gotta say. Just gonna do what I wanna do. God, why can I not get on this box, bro? <laughs> See? It's like, when something like that happens in an FPS, it's like, gosh, th this sucks, I hate this. It's frustrating. But in this, it's like... <laughs> this dumb...
Can't jump on the box. He's been trying to jump on this one box for like five minutes. <laughs> hey, check out my stream. <laughs>